Okay, this is a very short video. Um, it's, it was earlier in the testing. Um, we, had, we had one of our transformers was, uh, was down, but we still generated significant fields. But um, let me show you what, uh, what we found in this particular test. It was kind of uh, unusual understanding. Let's see what we see. Okay, so we're here in Arizona and David's measuring an anomaly in the field from all the reactors have been going for a couple of days now. They're all spinning. We have the booster cable or the booster unit on there. And what David is finding is that there's a void about, uh, uh, he's, he's on an eight foot ladder. He's all the way up at the top. So he's probably uh, uh, 15 feet high or you know, maybe, uh, maybe 12 feet high. And right there, there's a void. But show them now in the middle how that void, see it's, it's on now and it's off. So now, it, but in the middle, it goes all the way up to the top. Go in the middle now, David. And see how it goes all the way up and it's still, it's still beeping. It's, it goes way high, as high as it can go in the middle. But then it has this point here where it's shut off. But if it goes back, now pull it backwards, David. Backwards. And it goes off again. So there's like a void right above the magnetic ring at about 12 feet high, but then it goes back out again. So it's very interesting. So that was that. So I don't know exactly know how to explain it, uh, but that void has gone away since we've uh, gone back to the other configuration. Um, yeah, this could be because of the condition you create, because of the fields. To, there are fields in there that you don't see, because of the turbulence of the magnetic field form. There are a lot of things which I have to explain. Um, it's important that we understand these things. Uh, how, um, what I've seen um, partially missing in, uh, or not understood in, uh, um, In the teachings, in in understanding the part of the teaching, and um, uh, and this is, if I can share um, screen, please, I'll explain to you what I mean. In most of the teaching we've done up to now, we always looked at um, uh, some um, aspects of the flow of the flux, but in fact. We haven't understood some of it. When we have uh, two magnets or two plasmas, in our teachings we always refer to um, the flow of the magnetic fields from north to south. And the same vice versa here. But I think part of what you haven't realized what we show here, in reality, this, this operation here, is very much, it's, this here, operation we show, this is the gravitational magnetical conversion, which is the separation. But, in fact, if you go back to the teaching and understand it from the beginning, there is a field repulsion between the north and the north and the south and the south too. It's this field force which keeps the separation. Go back to the teaching. Go back to understanding of the field of the plasma. <coughs> Where we speak about when you put north and north together, they separate. When you put south and south together, they separate. It's no difference in the plasma when it's in, 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 uh, in this shape and this contact. These fields, not all go to the other, some spread. And the interaction of what comes here, and what comes here, creates a separation from the North Pole. And what comes from here, and what comes here, 
creates a separation on the South Pole. Not all the fields are. The field confirmation and the pattern is like this. It's these fields which create the separation of the positioning. And these fields create the attraction. And when these forces come to balance with each other, this is the position where the two entities take their place. This is what I explained in some of the teachings and I carry on explaining till, till we, we make more understanding of it. The four field forces we talk about, the two gravitational, are these two which are here. And these two here are the two magnetical, the separation. And we have to understand this, this is the backbone of the science. If one of these positions is slightly wrong, the distance will change. The one plasma will tilt towards the other. This is the position of the Earth, because we are, in a way, giving more, or taking more on the gravitational, and this gravitational, in respect to our environment, has tilted the Earth into an angle. The four field forces are the gravitational, the two of each, which they pull in, and the two magnetical. So, if we go back on the whole understanding, so it becomes very easy. You have two plasmas, and you have the four field forces which you have created, the repulsion, and the two of the attraction. These two create the separation. And these two create the attraction. Now you see, this is what we need to understand. That's how plasmas stay separate from each other. That's how the positioning is created. And if we change something in here, deliberately, we tilt one in respect to the other. You're a spaceship, angular lift. How much we let gravitational to become stronger than the magnetical, decides the angle of takeoff or the angle of landing. These are pieces of the knowledge which has to be understood, complete. And that's why you see gaps in positions. You have vortices of interaction of different coils, and in some places you see gaps. These gaps, these are what you call like a black hole. You can fly through, you can use it. You look for them in certain specific conditions, because they have a strength beyond your detection strength. So, it means they are tuned to somewhere else, that they exist, and in existence they are connected to something somewhere else, where you want to be, if you need me. So, when you look at this, maybe you understand more, where the repulsion comes from, where the attraction comes from. This goes back and then into a lot of interactions and attractions, and a lot of things has to be explained. One of the things I was, uh, I was, I've been trying to, bring up in the teachings. Maybe you can keep this picture, because it's very important, it's part of the teaching which I have not understood, and what I keep on referring as to, uh, the four field forces. This is number one, this is number two, this is number three, and this is number four. Something.